Herod Wilders mentioned that the uh, pen a writer's association that was founded in order to defend the freedom of expression is giving an award to the Charlie Hebdo uh, cartoonists. Pamela spoke about this as well. And that the uh, 145 of the members of Penn, including some very prominent writers, Joyce Carol Oates, who you may have heard of, and some others, have uh, pulled out because they say that this is manifesting cultural arrogance. They said that the French manifested cultural arrogance in drawing Muhammad and allowing Charlie Hebdo to draw Muhammad. They don't seem concerned about the cultural arrogance of the assassins who murdered these cartoonists in the name of a blasphemy law that the cartoonists did not hold. They didn't care about that imposition of one culture over another. They only cared that the French were following their own long tradition of free expression. Now that's a terrible thing for an organization that's designed to defend the freedom of expression. To, it, it's, it's a terrible dissent, and it bespeaks a dissent in our whole culture in general. This, uh, a very good friend of mine told me right before I left for this event that uh, you're just poking them in the eye, you're trying to provoke them. You know, why are you doing that? It's a, you're the one that's being offensive. And this, is, this was a friend, you know, and I was kind of taken aback. And I had to think, stop and think, well, what exactly is wrong with that? And what's wrong with that is that this is only offensive because Muslims have made it offensive. This is only something, as, as Kirt Wilders said, that needs armed guards because Muslims will kill you for, for drawing Muhammad. It would never be offensive otherwise. Consider this. The murderers of the Charlie Hebdo cartoonists had an accomplice, and as they were murdering the cartoonists, the accomplice went to a kosher supermarket in Paris and murdered four Jews. What had they done? They didn't draw Muhammad. How did they offend Muslims? They offended Muslims by being Jewish. Okay, so we have to not draw Muhammad, because that will poke them in the eye and offend them. And then we have to not be Jewish, because that will poke them in the eye and offend them. And then what? Okay, I guess pork and alcohol are right out. Okay, and then what? Take the humor, yes, yes, and the Islamic State. The Islamic State is beheading people and taking sex slaves and subjugating the Christians under the hegemony of the Islamic law, and they're doing it all on the basis of Quranic directives, and so that's all Islamic. So I guess we can't say a word about that, because that would, that would poke them in the eye and offend Muslims. And you see, step by step by step, we're ending up going in the direction of accepting Islamic law. And every Western media outlet that refused to publish the Muhammad cartoons was accepting Islamic blasphemy law. <clears throat> and so I say it's time for a, a, a little cultural self-assertiveness. The freedom of speech is not an end in itself. The freedom of speech was put into the Constitution as our fundamental protection against tyranny. If the governing authority or any power that rules in whatever way, and as Pamela noted, you know, the, the, you want to know who rules over you, then find out who you cannot criticize. The people who have the clout, the people who have the power, if they are able to silence by the rule of law, by the force of law, those whose opinions they don't like, then a free society is dead then they can do whatever they wish unopposed and dissent is impossible. And that's what this is all about. This is not about insulting Muslims or offending Muslims or poking them in the eye or even about drawing Muhammad. Ultimately, it's just that that's where they are making the line and that's where we're going to stand. And we're going to stand against tyranny and for freedom. And so thank you so much for coming, and I will turn the proceedings over to Pamela to 